What is up guys, Charlie here. Today we have another unboxing video. So some of you guys might know uh, we drink a lot of coffee here in the office. So usually we go by the hand drip method which is really really easy and even retards can do it. But uh, one day our ass itched and we saw what's known as siphon coffee which looks really damn fucking cool in the anime. So we're like, what if we try that? So what we had today is we managed to source a Siphon coffee kit from our good old friend Taobao. Today we are going to have a try to make Siphon coffee and see how it goes. What we have here today is uh, we have the coffee Siphon kit from Hario Japan. This is the TCA free model which you can make up to 3 cups of coffee. Uh, as you can see it's they make, they make it look very like f f sassy and stuff. You have like Pro no Aji, Siphon Coffee, the pro flavor. We have a so called um, burner kit, which supposedly uses infrared rays to send heat through the fucking kettle or the test tube instead to burn up water. The original price of this should be around like 300 to 400 USD itself if you're buying from a proper brand name. But we got this from China, as I mentioned before. And this is one sixth of the price. As we bought this whole set from this dealer, he also gave us a little hourglass as a gift. So we'll see how it goes there. Let's go unbox the siphon kit first. So as we uh, open the siphon kit first, it comes with a little thing for you to stir up your coffee powder filter cloth. It comes with a spoon. And here we are, we have the siphon kit. tube on the top with the stand at the bottom and, uh, here you have the alcohol kit that comes with it originally we will not be using that so uh, you can pretty much throw this in the bin <clears throat> okay have a look at here you have the general test tube kit with the lid and there's already a pre-installed filter and some instruction booklets. There should be a stand. Yeah, there you go. Acts as a lid when you use it, but at the same time you can use it as a stand as well. We have the main kettle kit. Wait, fuck, look how close it is. What they have here is basically instructions to teach you what you need to do. You light up the alcohol kit, but who the fuck needs that? You want to make sure the string is down with the spring here. It goes down to the test tube just like that and you basically let it go pretty damn easy then you want to put the coffee powder but uh, of course beforehand you want to have a rinse through this thing first because after all it is quite dirty so be right back we use hot water to rinse through the bottle and the glass itself make sure you do that as well because it's dirty we will be pouring the coffee powder down the siphon here. Tweak your grinder to have a little fine mill. It should be finer than normal because siphon is a bit delicate here and do you do not like rough grains. I think we're good to go here. How many cups is this? One and a half. Okay. Then pour one and a half in there. James needs to drink some water. So after you have your hot water, you want to line it up to the beamer. Make sure when you pull the siphon down, you want to basically pull the spring down and have the hook hook up at the side of the siphon. So basically the filter doesn't travel anywhere. Next, you just basically pour it, put it in like this. But of course, the water is not boiled yet, so you want to put it on the side. Or any funny thing happens. Put the lid back on and we turn on the side phone. Whoa! Um, I guess I turn it to max. I'm too scared, I'll put it on medium. <laughs> the sends infrared rays up here, the water to boil, and when the water boils, you want to basically put the side phone down so the water can travel up. If it explodes, the first person that dies is going to be me. I know it's scary, like. When it starts going a bit more bubbly, you then want to push the siphon in 
and let the water trap. When you put it too early, like some accidental water may go up. You don't want you don't want you don't want accidental squirts. So what you want to do here is you want to then push the side one in straight. And as you can see, the siphon's already starting to travel. Use your Gandalf stick to gently stir till it mixes up. And once all the water travel up there, you want to turn the hourglass down and wait for one minute. It just smells like burnt food to me. Okay, one minute's gone, and now we turn off. Has the has the smell of the pro. Mmm, black coffee. Actually, not bad. Siphon coffee. What the fuck is hot? It's too hot. <laughs> I can't drink it! It's too hot. Okay, so I think we burned it. Anyways, um, we'll try a second attempt. Smells a lot better than last time. Pretty bitter. It does taste like coffee than burn water. <laughs> so. I, 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 I would say this is a success. Um, I've, I don't think our beans is actually suitable for siphon coffee. So next time, probably want to find some high temperature tolerant beans as well. But then, um, this is Charlie and you have witnessed what it's like to have siphon coffee. Pretty fun experience. We might do more in the future. Maybe for example, like mocha or I don't, I don't know. We'll see, what, we'll see how it goes next time. But uh, until then, this is it for our unboxing video. If you like it, do give us a like. If you don't like it, still give us a like. What do you want to see us unbox? Leave a comment down below and we'll see how we can do it to work it out or something. Until then, catch you guys later. Bye bye!